Manchester United finally made their decision on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Bayern Munich spend big in the transfer market. Harry Kane wants an NFL gig. And we've got a roundup of all of the other day's transfer rumours. That and more coming up in the next few minutes as I am your host, Matt Fronick. You with the one footballers and this is the Daily News. First up for Manchester United fans, there is some big news coming out of Old Trafford this morning. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is your new permanent manager. Just a few months after being given the job as a caretaker, he has now signed a three-year deal to become the permanent manager at Old Trafford. Executive Vice Chairman Ed Woodward has said that not only has Solskjaer brought some fantastic results to the club, including that magnificent win against PSG, but also he brings a deep understanding as both a coach and a player to all the culture and tradition at Manchester United. He also said that Solskjaer has shown a great willing to give youngsters a chance, and does this really lend themselves towards a different transfer policy come the summer? Will they be backing Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? Will he be looking at young English talent? And who will be the next major signing that he's going to be bringing in? There are so many questions to answer with everything going on at Old Trafford. And United fans, I want to hear your thoughts down below. Who would be your number one signing? And do you think it is the right choice to bring Solskjaer in as permanent manager? On to our next piece of news. And it comes from Bayern Munich, who have splashed the cash on Atletico Madrid's Lucas Hernandez. The defender has agreed to join the club on the 1st of July for around 80 million euros, which in today's money is around 68 million pounds. This means he is not, as previously thought, the most expensive defender of all time. That title still goes to Virgil van Dijk, who cost around 75 million pounds. However, for Bayern Munich, this could be the sign of one or two things. Either they're now willing to become a big player in the transfer market, spending massive amounts of money. If they're willing to spend 80 million euros on a defender, just think of how much they'll sign a midfielder or striker for. Or on the flip side, they may have just spent their whole budget on one defender. I see this being highly unlikely and it looks like, unfortunately for the rest of the Bundesliga, Bayern Munich will basically become the next PSG within their domestic league. They'll spend huge money, sign all the best players and just run away with the title every single season. This does mean though that Bayern are moving one step closer to completely rejuvenating their defence as they've also agreed to sign Benjamin Pavard from Stuttgart, although that deal was announced in January. Next up to a bit of cross-sporting news where Tottenham striker Harry Kane has admitted that he harbours a real ambition to become an NFL kicker once his footballing career is over. In the next 10 to 12 years, he said he'd love to take up the sport, which he is such a massive fan of. He is a massive New England Patriots fan and was even at the Super Bowl in February as they lifted their sixth title. On top of this, I'm sure Kane's love for the game will only be helped by the fact that the Tottenham's new stadium will be hosting a more than a few NFL games in the upcoming years. At the moment, three NFL NFL games per season are played at Wembley, but it's thought that they could be shared with Tottenham's new ground. Alongside this, there have been rumours from the club that they'll be looking to host the Super Bowl, NFL showpiece end of season event, within the next 10 years. This is obviously something a little bit crazy to comprehend. It'd be like having the Champions League final in America. Doesn't quite suit. As for now, while Harry Kane says he has continued to focus on helping Tottenham to win as many trophies as they can. Unfortunately, at the moment, that total stands at zero. Elsewhere, though, Christian Fuchs is the other player in the Premier League who also wants to be an NFL kicker after his footballing days are over. That looks to be a little bit more likely to happen quicker than Harry Kane will, not only because Christian Fuchs is 32, but he's also announced plans to leave Leicester in the summer and move to the MLS, so he's one step closer. And finally, we come to a roundup of the day's transfer news. First off, Liverpool defender Dejan Lovren is apparently interesting AC Milan, Roma and Napoli. Tottenham have open talks with Napoli's defensive midfielder Amadou Diawara. Jadon Sancho is going to stay at Borussia Dortmund as they have no intention of selling him. And Chelsea have no intention of selling Callum Hudson-Odoi with the 18-year-old rumoured to be on the hit list of many of Europe's top clubs. They'll also be hoping that he signs a new deal at Stamford Bridge, especially with their upcoming transfer embargo. So there you have it for me. That's all for today's Daily News. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below about everything. What would you be doing if you were Manchester United manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer right now? Who would you be bringing in in the summer? Will Harry Kane really go on to be an NFL kicker? And Bayern Munich, will they go on to dominate the Bundesliga for years to come? Of course, you can smash the like button whilst you're down there and click here or here to check out all of the other videos that we've got going on on OneFootball. But until next time, I will see you guys later.